Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you some tips that I found extremely helpful when packing for my recent trip. So first I arranged all the outfits side by side. I also included any socks or bows that my daughter might need, anything that will complete the outfit for that day. I also included a bathing suit with a cover for my daughter, two extra outfits, two pajamas for four days, an extra jacket, and some sneakers. Next, I folded the clothes inside each other and stored them in a Ziploc bag. And guys, this helped me stay so organized during the trip and it helped me save space inside the bag. sleepwear and extra outfits inside one larger Ziploc bag. And this was the end result. Moving on to my son, I first chose all his outfits according to our itinerary. And then I laid them all out next to each other on the floor and I also included some socks, hats, and shoes. I packed two extra outfits for my son on each day and these are my favorite type of extra outfits to pack. These rompers are so light, easy to fold, and they barely take up space. So just how I did for my daughter, I folded the clothes inside each other and stored each outfit inside a Ziploc bag. all your Ziploc bags into your luggage. The Ziploc bags really helped to maximize the space in the luggage so I was able to fit a pack of diapers, five blankets, a pack of baby wipes, shoes, and even some stuffed animals. I packed my kids' sweater and jacket inside this small little compartment and I still had so much room left over in this bag. Now onto my clothes and again I laid out all my outfits right next to each other and I stacked my clothes one on top of the other and I rolled up each of my outfits. So rolling up the clothes really gave me a lot of room in my luggage so I was able to share with my husband. Underneath the rolled outfits is all our PJs. the shoes I packed them up into larger Ziploc bags and placed them right on top. Since my husband's shoes are larger, I did pack up his shoes all in one large duffel bag. Next, stuff some laundry sheets inside your luggage so your clothes stay smelling fresh the whole entire time. Now, it is very important to keep your bathroom essentials to a minimum. So try packing everything travel size so it won't take up too much space in your luggage. <music> try 
Try keeping all your bathroom essentials into one bag so it can be easy to locate and that way you don't have to scrabble around five different bags looking for one item. Next, use small containers like this. This one I got at Target. And cellophane wrap the top of it to avoid any spills. For all your liquid containers, store them in a clear plastic bag, so just in case one does decide to pop, they won't mess up any of your stuff. As for makeup, only pack the stuff you can live without. Try packing a palette just like this one that works great for daytime and nighttime looks. Also, you know those travel size items you get at Sephora? Well, pack those too. They come in handy because they don't take up much space. Use a straw to pack all your jewelry. This will avoid any tangles. Lastly, double check your list and make sure you're not forgetting anything. Load up the car and you're all ready to go. Enjoy guys! What are you guys doing? Matthew, are you doing a packing video too? He's not. He's just taking all the 